this is not financial advice. What up, Axie fam? Look, I've never shown this uh, this uh, perspective, but watch this. So when it looks blurry, it's because I'm super zoomed in on my face or else you get to see that handsome bar at the bottom. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Is that fine? Does that bother anybody? Leave a comment down below if this view bothers you. It feels good to be back in the swing of things. Good thing I put that back on before I open that. It's not a Red Bull this time. I'm trying to lose some weight. Let's talk about this AXS rewards through land staking. So in the official Discord, they just released a couple of things. The first thing I want to talk about is land staking. Look at this beautiful picture. Um, in this picture, the lands were like kind of finite and very small. An idea that they were going to significantly improve improve or increase the size of lands to help fill more slots so you could see the old land used to hold about 16 items at max capacity so there's not a whole lot you could do with it this image though we could see 4 8 12 16 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 112, 10 percent bonus crit damage uh it's been so long like i said but you can check them out in the marketplace the way this works is you will get all land holders will get per day 0.08 for savannah this is for axs rewards forest will get 0.26 arctic will get 0.74 mystic will get 1.64 and genesis land holders will get 32 axs per day this is awesome for landholders but this makes me kind of scared because i think this could have a very detrimental effect to the axs price this combined with the may 4th release of about 127,000 axs which i expect to get sold immediately this might have a compounded effect where axs gets destroyed in terms of market cap right i think this will flood the market with even more maybe not maybe these landholders will just hold every dollar they earn to maximize the return but i think a lot of them are gonna just immediately sell maybe they'll sell every like 14 days or something so here in about two weeks i imagine axs might be the lowest it's been in quite some time there's a Reddit thread talking about AXS being in the ballpark of about $13. I talked about this. I tend to agree. This is very good for new players because that means the profitability of operating it like a business, like I said in my No More FUD video, the probability or the likelihood that somebody enters Axie Infinity as a business will be diminished with the exit AXS price going even lower than it is currently. Right now, it's I think it was at $54. I wouldn't be surprised if we check AXS and it's 32 today. Let's go ahead and look. Whoa, 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 wow. Man, I was so, so, this chart is very misleading. Let's look at the seven day chart. That's the one I'm really referring to. Yeah, we went from uh, about $54, $64, all the way down to about 32. As this AXS, is being leaked into the economy and people are selling off, it's gonna drive the prices down. This is good because it's a correction to the price. I think the price at $154 was very artificially inflated by an artificial demand from bots. So now that the price is corrected, I wouldn't buy in on this price. This is not financial advice, but this price I think is a bit of a bounce. I think as more of this AXS goes into the marketplace, we could see AXS hit $13, $19, somewhere in that range. I don't know. 
it's good though because this makes the cost because slp prices because slp prices are like a penny a little over a penny the cost of breeding is super inexpensive so people could have a lot of fun for the very first time breeding some axes. Maybe people are stockpiling AXS and SLP. So let's get into the very next post in the official Axie Infinity Discord because this is very intriguing. As requested by the competitive Axie community, we have this the Axie DAO token burn to enter certain tournaments to help balance the economy. They have required an SLP burn as an entry fee to the tournaments so now this tool exists as opposed to sending it to a black hole or a dead wallet address now they have an official tool for burning slp now this is mainly for tournament organizers but it's interesting that they would request such a tool which means a lot of the people organizing tournaments have axie's long-term interests in mind what do you think what is your desire to play the game significantly diminished since the Ronin bridge validator attack? Are you stepping further and further away from Axie Infinity? Or is all the new development towards Origin and making it competitive and rewarding the long-term stakeholders? Does that pique your interest and make you want to get involved more? Are you upset that SLP and AXS, you know, 33 and one and a half cents, respectively, give or take. Does that upset you or does it excite you? Because now it is much more affordable to play the game. Right now with AXS and SLP prices, somebody could pick up a double anemone hair dagger bird team for very little and get their return before the season's over. I think that's kind of cool. So for, <laughs> look at this, double anemone, $16, $16, $22.88. So you can get a very, very good team that is also very fun to play in Origin for <laughs> like less than 100 bucks. With SLP, you could probably stay at like 1200, 1300 easily with this team. So you're earning, say, uh, what was it, say like five SLP times 10 wins. And there's 50 days left in the season. You can earn 2,500 SLP before the season's over if you don't do well. That's only winning exactly 50% of your matches and staying at a relatively low MMR for this team times 0.012. So uh, you can get literally half your money back before the season's over. That's pretty neat. That's what made Axie Infinity exciting because you can buy a team and probably earn enough money back for that entire team in two months. You know, if SLP price goes to two cents, then it did pay for itself. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.